Hey, done YouTube. So, I did a video earlier called uh, uh, a DOT lesson. Um, I wanted to add something to that. So, uh, got a guy that I that I've been training to flatbed, and I was explaining to him that you can't have anything on the truck, the trailer, you know, like on the headache rack or anything like that that is not secured properly. So didn't have everything done the way it should have been so I went and spent a little bit of money and uh, uh, make sure he was set up properly because I don't want to see anybody get a ticket and uh, I'm gonna walk you up here and show you what we done all right obviously you can see we got a flatbed here so first thing guys this is illegal well it is and it isn't I'll explain if this bungee was the only thing holding this dunnage where it is, this would be illegal. Went to Walmart, or the uh, tractor supply company right behind us here, and I bought a four pack of those. Now, those little straps, they're little one inch ratchet straps and they have a working load limit of 500 pounds. That will hold that dunnage. I made sure everything was in the strap it is secured it's not moving and then we put the bungees on each side just to kind of hold everything together and make sure it wasn't going to move now let's go to the headache crack now he had the four inch straps or the four inch tarps down here with the eight eight foot drop tarps and just had bungees holding them that's illegal bungees do not have a working load limit so went to tsc bought these brackets they cost six bucks a piece. We've got the uh, self-tapping screws. Uh, I bought a whole damn thing of those. That was like six bucks. No big deal. Got one on each side. And now they got a two-inch strap going across here. And if you look, it'll tell you what the working load limit is. That right there is legal that will hold those eight foot drop tarps. Those tarps weigh about 130 pounds a piece. Uh, them's big, big nasty heavy ones. And that will hold them. Now if you look up top, here we're gonna walk around this guy's truck. I'm parked clear down on the other side of the damn truck stop. But we're gonna step up here before this storm hits. Originally, all he had up here was the V-board sitting right in the middle, and then he had the black tarps down between between the eight footers, and everything was just bungee. Bought the four pack of these straps. Cost me 20 bucks. You can go to Walmart about the same price. They have a 500 pound working load limit. Put the V-boards on top of the tarps. We don't use these tarps very often. So uh got them up there put the straps on and just to make sure because this is legal at this point i don't need anything else he doesn't need anything else but to make sure nothing was going to shift side to side we got everything pretty tight and then got them cinched down we had to drill a couple holes and then uh we used existing holes and ran some bungees over there nice and tight just to keep everything from from shifting now technically speaking this is not legal bungees don't have a working load limit those are not properly secured but dot every one of them i've ever run into in my life has an understanding that there are some things like this trailer he's got doesn't have a toolbox, therefore they're gonna be up here. So, he's got them hung up like this. I'm gonna knock on his door again and tell him he's gotta come out here because we're gonna move these and we're gonna put them in these smaller holes that are on each side. They'll hang a little lower, but it will. those holes are not as likely to you know jump out of there as easy. So that's gonna help secure that. Now, two inch strap runs across doesn't have to be super tight you can tell yanking on that thing it ain't going anywhere you know guys 
if you don't want to visit from DOT and get a big ticket for an improperly secured load, I highly recommend you do some modifications if you have to to make sure you're legal. Now, if you're a company driver like this guy, don't just jump out there and start drilling holes and stuff. Don't do it. Don't just drill holes in their headache rack. It's not yours, it's theirs. Give them a call. Let them know, hey, this is what I got. I've got it set up the way I want it, but I gotta drill two holes to put these brackets on so I can run a strap across there and be legal. I've not met a company yet won't let you do that. Uh, at the at the very worst, they're gonna say, why don't you bring it into the yard and let us drill the holes in it? And that's probably for the best. That way, you know, if you didn't look good enough, you don't wanna hit a hidden electric wire or something and lose all your lights. I don't know if you can tell, it's fixing to get real nasty here in Colorado. But, part of the gig sometimes. Guys, questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. And uh, like and share the video, please, and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get the uh, subscriber count up so I can go live again. Uh, until next time, guys, be safe, be legal.